What is going on guys? Welcome to your 27th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add methods to your objects. So let's go ahead and the first thing that we need is a constructor function. So function, go ahead and name it just people or something and just like before we'll give it a name and an age. So all these people will have two properties, a name and an age. And we make sure of that by setting their object's name to whatever we pass in for name and the object's age to whatever we pass in for age. Simple enough. So we have a constructor function. Now we can begin actually making objects. So var, um, let's go ahead and make an object called Natalie and set equal to, we don't need that yet, a new object from the people blueprint basically and the name it takes two parameters first name Natalie Portman and her age she's probably like 28 I'm guessing I don't know who knows so anyways we already know that we can access you know Natalie's name Natalie's age we can go ahead and print that out yada yada we learned that before but what we're learning in this tutorial is how to add methods to this object and uh, by the way a method is pretty much just a function that uses some of these properties so you know how a function might calculate the temperature converted to Fahrenheit to Kelvin well methods take properties like this like it would take her age and calculate how many years until retirement or calculate when she's gonna die or calculate when she was born or something like that so it takes some of these properties from this object and it makes a calculation with it. So let's go ahead and calculate how many years until Natalie Portman can retire. She can probably retire right now because she's extremely wealthy. But let's go ahead and say that the retirement age is 65. So in order to create a method, here's what we do. Just like any other function, go ahead and give it a name. Years left. Looks good. Won't take any parameters and the first thing that we need to do is calculate or in other words give a variable that we can return so let's go ahead and make a variable name num years and this is going to store the number of years until she turns 65 because at 65 she can retire so let's go ahead and just write 65 minus her age and in order to use this object's age you use this dot age and whatever object you pass in for there it's going to take their age and it's going to subtract it to 65 from 65 excuse me so I'm 24 so if it was to calculate for me it would be 41 if someone was 20 it would be 45 if someone was 65 it would be 0 so anyways how many years until you turn 65 that's what's going to be stored right in here and now remember whenever we want it to make a calculation and give us the answer back we need to return it whenever we return something it takes that calculation and returns it to you so then you can print out the value of it and cool stuff like that so num years so what I like to do is just go ahead and highlight that to make sure they're both the same and now that they're both the same we're good to go so this function is basically gonna work like this whenever you call this function it's gonna say alright what object did you give me? I'm going to take their age, I'm going to subtract it from 65, and I'm going to give you the answer back. Simple enough. But we're saying, all right, here is the blueprint for the object. So how does this object know to use that function? Well, it doesn't just yet. So that's what we have to do in this next line of code. In order to tell this object that basically we want to use this function or in order to tell it that this function is just not a random function we actually want to associate it with this object here's what we need to do just like every other thing every other object property you go ahead and assign this dot and then you write whatever you want your property to be named and just go ahead and put um, years until retire or something like that did I spell everything right? Everything right? Looks good enough. So then what you do is you have three properties for your object. Every person in the world has a name, has an age, and has a certain amount of years until they can retire. Their name is whatever we give it, their age is whatever we give it, and the years until retire, it has to make a calculation. 
what is that calculation going to be based off? It's going to be based off this function right here. So we don't set it equal to a number like 65 or anything like that. We set it equal to the name of this function. So if we go ahead and copy that and paste it, and here's the one thing that can confuse you guys. You don't add parentheses at the end of this. I know it's weird, but they made it this way so your object knows that this method is associated with this object. So this makes sense. We pass it in a name. We pass it in an age. But for this last one, we make it just like any other object property, just like this one or this one. But instead of a value that we pass it in, we set it equal to a name of a function without the parameters. And the reason we don't add parameters for that is because it's going to take all its parameters already from the object pretty cool huh so now with that being said let's just go ahead and use this so now we can do something like document write again we already have an object Natalie her name's Natalie Portman and her age is 28 so now anytime we want to calculate her years until we retire here's what we do just go ahead and write the name of the object Natalie and then just go ahead and write years check it out she has three properties. We can either print out her name, her age, or years, years until retire. So just go ahead and copy that, paste it, and here is where you need parameters just like that. Simple enough. So let's go ahead and print it out, see how it works. 37 years until Natalie Portman can retire. So let's go ahead and make another object real quick. One for me, why not? Um, I'll make an object Bucky. Um, my name is of course Bucky Roberts and my age is 24 so now let's go ahead and put Bucky years until I retire save it and see what I get 41 41 years until I can retire so basically to sum it up one last time this is what you do whenever you want to add methods to your object you already have a constructor function with properties I have a name I have an age, we know all that. So whenever you want to assign a function to your object, you take the name of the function and you assign it just like you would any other object property. Simple enough. And don't forget, whenever you make your function, the only thing you have to do to get the extra information is put this object's age. If we wanted to print out my name, you would write like document write this name. Easy enough. So then, whenever you want to actually use that function, or excuse me, the method now, you just write the name of your object, and then right there, check it out. Not the function name, but the object property name. Simple enough. So um, there are just a couple neat little tricks that you have to watch out for. The first one is don't include your parentheses right here. That's your way of telling JavaScript that this method is actually a part of this object because it has no parentheses. And the last thing is whenever you actually use it, add your parentheses after this. It's a little confusing, but trust me, if you make like if you do it like three times, you'll get the hang of it and it'll be a breeze. So that is how you add methods to objects. So now we basically learn everything about an object. How to create a constructor function, how to add basic properties, and how to add methods. So simple enough. Um thank you guys for watching. And next tutorial probably gonna be talking about objects a little more. So if you're confused at all, just move on to the next one and <coughs> Oh, got some phlegm in my throat, and you'll be fine. So, again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.